Hey world, hey brothers and sisters. Did you know that God is love? Did you know that he wants us to pray in the power of the Holy Spirit? Think about that. You know, when we try to persevere and we try to have patient endurance and another phrase is hupomone, when we try to hang in there in this crazy world, it's important for me that I remember the foundation that God is love and he loves me unconditionally and he wants to give me the gifts to use to help him to further his kingdom, to help me to bring a little bit of heaven here on earth before the earth goes to hell. And as I'm doing my devotional this morning, I was reading in Jude a little bit and I wanted to share a couple things that you know God revealed to me through, through the reading today. But the important thing, as he says in verse 20, is build yourselves up in your most holy faith and pray in the Holy Spirit. So it's important that I get quiet and I get still and I get centered and I invite God in and I invite his Holy Spirit in and I take care of the temple that he houses himself in by taking care of my mind, body and spirit. And when I do that, I'm better able to be still and hear God through his word and through the godly people he puts in my life and through nature. And then he gives me the ability to see the circumstances in life and try to find a way to make a little bit of sense and give me some hope and some clarity in this uh, fight that I feel I am in and that we all are in, whether we realize it or not, against the rulers and the authorities and the powers of this dark world and the spiritual forces of evil of in the heavenly realms. So today I want to just read you guys a little bit, and this is again out of Jude, but I want you to take into consideration when he was writing to some people back then, and he was also there to tell them about the salvation and the love that Jesus offers, but he was also warning them about the things that were going on in that time in society, and I find that there's similar things going on in society today. So I'm going to read a little bit and then share a little bit more. And this is out of Jude, and I'm starting at verse 17, and the title of it is A Call to Persevere. Another phrase that means hupomone, patient endurance, hang in there. And this is what he says. But dear friends, remember what the apostles of the Lord Jesus Christ foretold. They said to you, in the last times, there will be scoffers who will follow their own ungodly desires. There's a lot of that going on in the world if you look around. Then he goes on to say, These are the men who will divide you, who will follow mere natural instincts and do not have the spirit. So we've got to have discernment in the people we put around ourselves and have discernment and see you know, who's trying to divide us and who's trying to unite us and what are the things they are using to divide us. And God offers a lot of things that we can use to unite us. And one is that accepting that we are his kids and that we're all brothers and sisters and that we all got to know that God is love and he wants to put love in our hearts so that we can love others. And then Jude goes on to write, but dear friends, build yourselves up in your most holy faith and pray in the Holy Spirit. Keep yourselves in God's love as you wait for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ to bring you to eternal life. Be merciful to those who doubt Snatch others from the fire and save them. To others show mercy mixed with fear, hating even the clothes, the clothing stained by corrupted flesh. So Jude's talking about a lot of problems that the believers were having back in the day and a lot of the unbelievers that were trying to divide them and trying to impart some ungodly things into their society. And he warns us to stay in the Holy Spirit and be aware of those things and to be patient and to persevere and to hang into Jesus and hang into the peace that he offers us. And as he closes out, he offers us a prayer. And this is uh, verse 24 out of Jude. To him who is able to keep you from falling and to present you before his glorious presence without fault and with great joy. To the only God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, power, and authority through Jesus Christ our Lord, before all ages, now and forevermore. Amen. So the Lord provides us some instructions on how to try to stay in the Holy Spirit, how to try to identify the division and the scoffers that are trying to impart ungodly things into our society, and then we as believers stand firm in the Holy Spirit, know that God loves us and He's empowering us to teach and to share and to show mercy and grace 
and to help the other brothers and sisters who may be blinded by the world and the noise and the information that may have kind of put some scales over their eyes. And we want to pray for God to take the scales off of our eyes and use us to help other people take the scales off of their eyes so they can see the truth and the love that God has and also identify the enemy that's out there trying to derail us from trying to live as a free, loving people who are all brothers and sisters in the eyes of the Lord. And in my mind, we're all brothers and sisters in the eyes of Brother Paul. And I want you all to kind of take some time and relish in that and sit in that and just treat everybody around you with love and kindness and compassion. Guys, if you have a chance, please take a look at some of our things on YouTube and on Facebook and on our universalpeaceofficers.org website. And I need people to help join the posse, to help us in prayer, to help us in spreading the message. And then there are other things down the road, as you see on the website, we will need people to help get involved in and in sharing the love that God has and taking the truth that he put in our hearts and finding ways to use the gifts that he has given us to help those around us to get to know the Lord better and to help share his love so that we can all help bring heaven here on earth before the world goes to hell. So guys, help me please. Forward this, share this, like this, but most importantly, take care of your mind, body, and spirit. Spend time getting centered, getting grounded, get at peace with God so you can be at peace with yourself, so he can better use you to be at peace with other people and share peace and love and hope. Lord, fill me with peace, love, and compassion. Fill all my brothers and sisters and family with peace, love, and compassion. And fill all the earth and all the world with peace, love, and compassion. God bless America. Peace officers, out.